Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is 25th February 2022. Exactly one month to that game between Ghana and Nigeria in the World Cup playoffs. The first leg uh, will be taking place in Cape Coast. And today we're going to look at Ghana's possible team to make that game. My opinion, I've picked out a couple of players which I think should be called up. And that is exclusively my opinion. Today we're going to start with our goalkeeping options. This week, uh, Richard Olele Kingston revealed that he is looking at 15 goalkeepers, which he gave two names. I'm going to give the four keepers that I think should be considered. I feel maximum we should send three goalkeepers uh, to this game between us and Nigeria, uh, but anything is possible. And I'll add an extra one and talk about the miscellaneous ones, including the ones uh, that are being monitored by Richard Olele Kingston. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. So we know this important game, how important it is to Ghana's chances in the World Cup. This game versus Nigeria will determine who picks up the solo ticket among the five uh, to make it to the World Cup in Qatar 2022 in November this year. It's quite clear that uh, Ghana have not been the best of shape in terms of getting a right coach, in terms of performances, a whole lot has not been going well for Ghana Black Stars. And it, it is quite the contrary for the Nigeria Super Eagles, who seem a bit more organized than the Ghana Black Stars. But if football has taught us anything, it is that our predictions or our thoughts about a game beforehand or on paper uh, can really be so wrong. And today we're going to look at the goalkeeping positions and goalkeeper that should lead the line for the Ghana Black Stars in that crucial game versus the Nigerian Super Eagles. And the number one goalkeeper who led us to the African Cup of Nations that we'll talk about today is Jojo Walakot. Yes, not everyone's favorite right now, considering that shambolic showing at the African Cup of Nations. Jojo has come under a lot of scrutiny about the statistics for his club since he joined them this season has been quite different because he has been one of their top players. Keeping a clean sheet is no mean feat no matter the league you are playing in because that is what most people use to disqualify Jojo Walakot from the Black Stars currently. They say he plays in Swindon Town and it's not a top league but uh, he, he is doing well wherever he is. I've also already said on this channel that uh, players playing in lower leagues does not disqualify them from being eligible to play for their countries. It is the player's abilities that should be taken into consideration and the structure and organization of the league in question, which is in England and you have to say a Swindling Town, no team that leave anything to chance in terms of infrastructure and organization. So they will pass that test. But look at the stats for Jojo Walakot. He's played 27 games this season for his club side Swindling Town. All stats all 90 minutes played. He's made the team of the week three times this season, most recently in his club side over the midweek. And over that period, he has also kept eight clean sheets for the club aside. His game needs improving. He has conceded 1.1 goals per game and saved zero penalties out of seven. He's made 74% of saves per game. His touches per game have not been bad either. 45.7 touches per game, accurate per game, 68%. He has not been bad. Clearances per game have been one and uh, penalty, penalties committed have also been one. Clearly, Jojo Walakot for his club side Swindon Town has been finding something right and doing it right. When he initially came, many people doubted his abilities, but he looked to have the composure for the Ghana Black Stars role playing and getting us into the next stage, which is right now of the World Cup qualifiers. It will be only fair for him to play in the playoffs, but right now, his only problem is the organization of the defense in front of him. Against Comoros, where a lot of people criticize him for, I think Jojo Walakot's problem was showing his command in the penalty area 
Jojo Alacott in the penalty area was not commanding and almost all the shots that he faced he got a goal conceded he needs to improve in that respect show command shout at the players if need be show authority and probably he could be Ghana's number one the next player i'll look at in that position is ibrahim danlad of kumasi asante kotoko who many are calling uh, to be Ghana's number one goalkeeper he's a performances for Kumasi Asante Kotoko since the departure of Razak Balora have been quite laudable and they read eight games five wins two draws and one loss he has kept four clean sheets in that same period it's quite clear that Danlad Ibrahim just at the tender age of 19 years having done well with the youth side especially with the under 17 and then moving on to the under 20 and winning the african cup of nations with them just last year is doing something right kumasi asante kotoko are benefiting from him and he is a shining light for them this season many people's favorite to take over the number one spot for the ghana black stars but a dan lad will know that the black stars role could be a different ball game altogether many people tend to downplay local players in joining the black stars because they feel they are not up to it they don't have the quality uh, but that lad ibrahim could back that trend in recent times after all he has done it and won the african cup of nations under 20. people will not rate that competition because it's just the african cup of nations under 20. but there were top top sites in there youth sides from big countries known for producing quality youth and uh, he was able to overcome them Dalad Ibrahim another player I would call for consideration the next player I would call for consideration is Manaf Nuruddin 23 years of age he plays with Cass Upen in Belgium uh, 15 games 15 starts a team of the week once he has appeared in he's conceded 1.6 goals per game a penalty saved have been one out of three he has faced and one clean sheet this season a man of Nuruddin in the game versus Algeria was not the best and uh, he along with Atizigi provided the chance to show us that Jojo Walakot probably deserved that number one spot that was until Danlad started shining recently and a man of Nuruddin uh, will be one of the players i would call up into the four goalkeepers uh, the last one could uh, be uh, lawrence atizigi yes hold on here it was between lawrence atizigi and richard atta i don't know about richard atta i'm not fully convinced i am not convinced about atizigi either 100 percent but it went down to the wire and uh, atizigi had it for me because of his length of time in the ghana black stars that is why I went for him. Richard Atta has not been in the Black Stars long enough, in my opinion, uh, to command a place over Lawrence Ati Ziggy. And uh, I think Richard Atta will have his time. He has proven in the performances uh, versus Accra Hard to Hook versus Kotoko in the Super Clash. He showed that he is one goalkeeper uh, who will be for the Black Stars in the future. Locally based player, again, not everyone's number one choice because of the nature of the league i've talked about why locally based players do not do well do not perform well but they could back that trend and they could really change that narrative but atizigi has played 22 games this season for saint Gallen in switzerland uh, he's had a team of the week appearance once he's considered two goals per game on average has uh, saved 61 percent of the shots he has saved and has kept two clean sheets for his club side uh, Richard Atta, on the other hand, has kept two consecutive clean sheets in the 0-0 draw since returning from the African Cup of Nations. Richmond Dai had taken his position and was doing well. Unfortunately, results have not been going Accra hard to folks way, and that has led to him losing his number one spot at time, which he has currently gotten back. But these are the four goalkeepers I will call in the Ghana Black Stars squad for that game versus Nigeria. Uh, Jojo Walakot. Dalad Ibrahim, Lawrence Atizigi, and Manaf Nuridi. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Uh, the other keepers that Olili said he had been watching closely are Tawa Kuli Seidu, along with uh, Joseph Anan. All these keepers are also under monitoring uh, by the FA 
We'll see how that one goes. But these are my four goalkeepers. Your thoughts and comments, boss. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend.